I am beyond obsessed with the Gilded Age. <laughs> Came a little late to the party, Audra, but, but I'm here party, yeah. and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you guys have been renewed for season three. So um, there's so much story to be tell, especially with your family in this. Where do you see this going? Where would you like for this to go for your family? Well, I'm hoping, you know, right now, our family seems to be sort of like the sole represent, yeah. representation for what's happening with Black Elite. Right. So I'm hoping we delve into more of what happens with the black community in New York City and beyond during that time. So I would love to see some more um, historical characters, yeah. black historical characters from that time. I mean, I know that uh, Peggy is sort of modeled off of Ida B. Wells, but wouldn't it be cool if Peggy actually met Ida B. Wells? Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. Um, but regardless, I'm just so glad that Julian Fellows really took the time to make sure that we're getting to see a bit of history that has absolutely been sort of like, you know, just sort of buried and not talked about. The yeah. fact, you know, a lot of people are like, what, what do you mean black people? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we existed. Hey, hey. We've always been here. Absolutely, so it's, it's there fun. was a, a, a very much a black bourgeoisie, like community thriving. that thrived. Thank thriving you. Thriving community, you. thriving community. Yes, so absolutely. it's wonderful that we're getting a chance to see it. I just think the material is so great and I love I seeing you. I, I can only imagine how fun it is. Like I said, I came to the party late, but I'm never. Do you know when you guys start shooting season three? Um, yeah, in a couple months. Yes, yeah, okay. we're gearing up. Have you seen script? No. Okay. No. I, I wonder, because <laughs> you are so multifaceted and multi-talented. You're about to go back to Broadway in Gypsy. Oh, no, that, that was a rumor. It's that, not happening. That's a, that's a rumor. I, I read about that in the New York Post, too. <laughs> now, how does that happen? How do you just make up that you're going to be starring in the well, revival of know, Gypsy? People talk. People talk. Well, we would like to see you back on Broadway yeah, I, yeah, at some I'm point. To be back six, on Broadway to six Tonys later, <laughs> we would like for that to happen. It yeah. seems like every time you touch the stage, well, there's I've magic. Been very, I've been very, very lucky, but I've been really lucky to be in some great projects this season. I was in Ruston, I was in yeah. Origin, um, and then so happy to be a part of um, what's going on with the Gilded Age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, life Talk is good. Talk about storytelling and storytelling and representation. I mean, both of those projects mm -hmm. were two of my favorites this season, and I love that. It seems to be for you that you all are, are always very intentional about representation and how you show up Absolutely. on screen. Absolutely, that's important. That's everything. I mean, when I, when Ava DuVernay called and said, "Look, I want you to be a part of Origin. It's based on Isabel Wilkerson's incredible book." Um, and uh, when she told me, "Look, it's just one scene, but it's with Ingenue Ellis." And you were Taylor. representing Black love in the highest form. I was like, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. And also, I'm always thinking about my children, yes. and you know, what you know, when I'm gone, what will they see of what I did while I was here? Um, and so I want to make sure that they're always proud of what I'm doing, and so to be a part of that. And then Rustin too, and my fingers are crossed, and my toes are crossed for Coleman. He's having. More than a moment. Oh, I mean, he's so deserving lovely. of all of it. So but lovely. isn't that man having a time? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, so so well deserved. And he, I mean, there, there couldn't be a nicer, more loving person who deserves it so much. So it's, it's wonderful to see when your friends just soar. You've had a storied career. Is there a project that still to this day you are kicking yourself that you passed on? <laughs> um... No, I have to say I am so grateful for everything that has come into my life. I trust the, I trust the universe, you know, and everything that's yeah. come into my life, it's come into the for a reason, and it's taught me something, and things that have been scooted out of my life have been scooted out of my life for a reason, and I'm grateful for that too. I love that. <laughs> and thank you for setting the record straight about Gypsy. <laughs> we like when stuff is myths are busted around here. Right now, that is, you know, a rumor. Okay, now we do have to talk a little fashion because we like to do that around here, and I can't help but see these rings on your fingers. What is going oh my on? Gosh. I'm, I'm feeling horrible because I can't remember the name of the designer of the rings, but they are incredible. Because I'm doing a little bit of Morticia Adams with uh, uh, Christian Siriano, which I love. So we got a snake, and then this is what I love about this, like brass knuckles. Ridiculous. Fashion, you know? I love that you. I love that, that the theme is Morticia. <laughs> Morticia glam. Morticia glam. Yes. No, 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 no. Right, well, I'm, Christian Siriano has you snatched to the tee. Like, I love how he fits for a woman's form so well. Oh, my gosh, yes. yes. And he's he's not snobby about, you know, women's bodies. Yes. He appreciates all types and sizes of Absolutely. women's bodies. And so for that, we are very, very grateful. I love that. Thank you so much. Have Thank a great you. time tonight.